All right, guys, here's the deal. I hear people complain all the time about, I break too many fish off, or I, break, I broke a big one off in the tournament the other day. It cost me a tournament. I'm going to give you a quick tip, and it's all about rod positioning when you set that hook that will hopefully help you not break off so many fish in the future. So what happens, and I used to, I call this snap setting, and it's a bad habit, I used to do it myself. I take this jig and I flip it in a lay down or something, and you get that initial bite. What happens, a lot of people will drop the rod tip really fast right before they swing back on that fish. When they drop that rod really fast, they put three or four or five foot of slack in the line, and when you go swinging back really hard, it puts enormous shock in the line, and it causes that line to break, especially if there's a little weak spot anywhere in it or you nicked it or something like that. But if you'll keep that line tight, I don't care how far you feel like you have to go down, and you shouldn't be going way down here anyway, but you just need to go down far enough to where you can keep good tension on the line, and when you swing back, Keep that line tight the whole time, all the way down, all the way through the hook set. Anytime you put slack in it, when you go to swinging back, you're at risk at breaking off a fish. So just try that next time you go out, and I promise you, in the long run, it'll help you land more fish and you won't be breaking those fish off anymore. Like I said, it's called snap set, and it's a bad habit that I used to do myself. Just keep that line tight when you go down. Don't panic. I know sometimes we get excited when a big seven or eight pounder's got our jig in its mouth and we go swinging down on that fish real fast and we put slack in the line, but concentrate on keeping that line tight when you set the hook. And I promise it'll help you in the long run not break off so many fish.